the painful RPG or something like that. <laughs> now this stream might take a little bit of a setting up to do because I've never streamed on YouTube before. So forgive me if my, uh, if you probably, if you're watching this after the stream is over, you might want to skip ahead like 10 minutes or something. Um, sorry. Like, this is my first time streaming on YouTube. I figured I'd give it a try. I can't figure out how to get to the page you're streaming on until you're already streaming. Unfortunately. Like, it's such a weird system. Um... So, I'm- I'm kind of- now that I'm live, now I can show the stream off. Which is confusing, and I- there has to be a right way around that, I'm sure there is, but, you know. I don't know it, so I'm kind so of, um, I'm going to have to do this- I'm gonna have to figure this out as I go along. Sorry, this bit of the stream is kind of a waste of time who any, to anyone who is here. Let's see. But, um, I, I should get some people in here who I know and they, they can tell me if they can actually see the stream, if the links I send them work, and then, and then I can start the stream up proper, um, and see, uh, how that works. Let's see, also, yeah, you can see it. Let's see, it looks like that link should work. Okay. Um... Oops. <laughs> okay, people are saying the link works fine. Then, sorry to everyone, this will probably take me a little bit more showing off if you didn't hear earlier. I mean, not sh but you know, just figuring out if you didn't hear earlier, I, um, this is my first time streaming on YouTube and I don't understand how, like, most of the, f I can't figure out how most of streaming through YouTube works, so... This is going to be streaming, uh, this is going to be a, a bit of a process. So like I said, feel free to, like, if you're just watching, um, if you're watching the beginning of this stream, like, after I'm done streaming, just skip ahead, I guess. Um, Hey Night Striker, how is it going? You know, it's kind of cool on YouTube, I can actually see your, uh, icons. That's so weird, I'm not used to being able to see anyone's, like, actual, uh, icon to, to show who they are. So that's cool. Okay, thanks, but go away, though. It's... Thanks for an- I wish I could make it not do that. I really need to set up my Twitch so people aren't like, I am doing stuff and I'm like, no, I'm streaming. Like, and nor- like I said, normally I wouldn't have that issue, but, um... So, sorry, this is taking me a bit. <laughs> Ah, uh, hello there. Like, like to remain gender neutral. Fair enough. He, she, whatever. You can be whatever you want. You can even be, um, you can even be a robot if you want. Yeah, okay. That's, I was thinking that was your username, Cup. Welcome to the stream, then. Anyone else I need to bug? 
Um, there's Night Striker. I just don't really need to bug the pair. I don't think I need to bug anyone at all. I'll bug the pair, actually. Okay, so sorry once again, this is going to take some setup, guys, because I've never streamed on YouTube before, and I had no idea. The YouTube is weird. Like, the page you stream on doesn't show up until you start streaming. So I need to figure out how you get the link for streaming um, before you start streaming. Like, it's, it's really weird. Okay, busy. Oops, set myself to offline. Check. <laughs> I'm sure you all, uh, by the way, I guess while I am taking forever to stream, uh, how are you both? And how is the sound? I know you can't hear much from the game yet, so I'm probably going to have to adjust that more. But just from the intro, it's probably, I feel like it's probably too quiet, but who knows. Um... Right, okay, just one last stop, and then I will... And then I will start this proper. Let's see. Uh, what's it called again? Sorry for a bit of a silence here, just getting it all announced and stuff. Like, this, there, either there's an easier way to do this, or I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to have someone, like, announce the stream for me after I start it next time. But I'm sure there's an easier way to, um, start the stream than what I'm doing here. I mean, like, ad advertise the stream. Whoa! Sora and Yoshi, hey! Welcome to the stream. It's pretty cool that you can actually see people's, like, um... I, I know I already said this, but if I do have anything to say is good, I like that you can see people's avatars and stuff. Um, it's cool. Okay. Did anyone answer me? Okay, good. Uh, the menu does have sound. That tells me I should probably turn it up a bit. Let's see, I'll turn it up to like 20 and you guys can tell me how the sound is once I actually get in the game. Yeah, here's there's definitely sound. So be sure to tell me if I need to turn it up or down. Sounds like I'm probably gonna need to turn it down from here actually. We'll see what people say. Hmm. Mm. You little thief. Oh no. There's some violent stuff going on, guys. Stop. Stop. Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. Oh, he stole our ball. Yeah, how dare you, Brad. You jerk. Sounds okay? Alright, cool. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. How dare you steal our ball? 
Who would even dare to do that? Man. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Jeez. That was... That was a violent way to start with people beating up kids. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> Come back for Cheez-Its. Oh, okay, I'm playing as Brad now. Fair enough. So I've played this game uh, literally none. So I have no idea how it works. I just know that it's apparently sad. I'm sorry. You didn't have to cover for me. I'm sorry, Brad. That's fine. I'm just gonna walk home, which is right over here. Get... No, that's not my home. Alright. Can I steal this car? It sounds like it's running for some reason. Alright. Sup. Hey. Oh, okay, that's not the car. That's that guy's lawnmower. I thought I thought the car was just running for some reason. Okay, so this is kind of an odd start to the game. Not really what I was expecting. I'm going to presume this is the main character as a kid. I'm just kind of walking home after being beaten up by a bunch of boys. Whoa! That was loud. Yeah, guys, lawnmower is loud. I think I'm actually gonna turn the sound down a little bit on the stream. You guys can tell me, um, I mean, yeah, on the game. You guys can tell me if I need to turn it up again. I just... I think the sound effects in this game are a good bit louder than the music once again. My son steps into my house. Beat to shit. Ah, man. Not buying you another shirt. Worth a shit, kid. Go to your room. Now. Okay. Jeez, what a jerk. I'm not a big fan of kids either, but, you know. <laughs> Lisa. Whoa, okay. That was... that That is a pretty terrible place to grow up in, that's for sure. And we also have an intense time skip. in the future where our dude is a fully grown person man <laughs> doesn't look a lot happier you took some joy <laughs> what the hell <laughs> yeah they sure did happen uh, shh it's okay, little buddy. Jeez. <laughs> Babies sure are annoying. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm terrible at catching you. It's okay. I totally didn't drop you. There we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe. <laughs> what an what an epic intro. So suddenly we found a babby. So also so far there doesn't really seem to be a lot I can do in this game. There's no um there hasn't been any way to access an inventory or options menu or anything. All the buttons do nothing except for A, which interacts with people sometimes. Brad. What is that? Holy shit. Is that a baby? Yeah. 
You know, that's a good question, Night Striker. I mean, I assume it was abandoned, but still, like, this seems like a really bad place to abandon it. I mean, you could at least try and take it to um, a hospital or some civilized place or something. Whoa. A baby? Where did you get that? Oh, you know, I just picked it up at Walmart uh, under the baby aisle. Oh, I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait. Know what this means? It's when there's a girl out there. Whoa. <laughs> you know, Cup, apparently you are very correct. Because they seem pretty stoked about this idea. And there's hope for humanity. Whoa. Bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it a boy or a girl? I didn't check. It's a girl. Wow. We need to tell someone. Rando! If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life! All the food and cool stuff we want! So, as far as I can tell, this game is has some kind of post-apocalyptic thing going on. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I mean, I knew this game was gonna be sad, but... Like, first few minutes of the game, and the world has ended for some reason that I have no idea why. Drop, dude. It's actually not a bad idea. The rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. Keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not going to give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. And so, we have our main character established, and our troop of uh, people, I guess. Alright, so we have a little montage of them hiding the baby and building a place for it to live. That's pretty cool. It's a shame that as far as I can tell from the title of the game, we can already tell this is going to go horribly wrong. Several years later... Oh, there's his dad. Who is we to have seen as a total jerk. Or... Oh... Okay. That was... Not his... That was his dad. I don't know. I guess maybe that was his dad with, like, his little sister or something? And then, of course, Lisa's like, I wanna go outside, and he's like, No, you can't go outside. People will see you and you'll die. And he keeps looking at these things that are called happiness, I think. Which, I feel like that's probably drugs, I can assume. It feels kind of like, kind of like that's the implication, but I don't know. Whoa. What is that? Oh, a mask. Okay. I get it. That's actually kind of clever. Just to be like, I'm just going around with the kid here. It's a boy. It's fine. <laughs> I 
Uh, all right. This is this the sequence got a little cuter than I was expecting. Which is good, um, because I wasn't really expecting much. Hey, Dad, it's not real. Oh, no, the memories. You were a bad father. <laughs> Which reminds me of that other game. So with the way this game is all 2D and stuff, I didn't fully expect a, uh, like, I didn't expect the game to be fully 2D like it seems to be, so I'm guessing there's some sort of platforming elements, or maybe you have to travel around using ladders and stuff? I don't know. It'll be interesting when the actual gameplay starts. Hmm. Doges. Hey, you there. This wild beast won't leave me alone. I'd slay him myself, but I'd pull my coin climbing this tree. So give me a hand, will ya? I mean, he's a freaking dog. Oh, what? Oh. I wasn't actually expecting to attack him. Okay. <laughs> this became a little more like arm bound. So, Armstrong and Long style on cheese legs. Execute! Ow, he bit me. Whoa, what? What kind of combat system is this? We got some kind of weird combos? I wasn't expecting this. Ah, oh, you can't bark at me. I'll wreck you. Also, is the. Once again, is the sound effects too loud? I don't want to be hurting anyone's ears. Okay, so we have, uh, um, simple punch, um, I can't really tell which is the most efficient there, <laughs> but I leveled up from fighting a dog, man. Okay, the sound effects are okay. That's good. I just keep being paranoid, because uh, for me they sounded a little loud at first, especially compared to the music, but um, yeah, as long as they're fine for you guys. Level up. I got Buster Punches. Now I can Mega Man punch people, I guess. Um, yeah, stats. Well... You're pretty tough for a whacked-out, midlife crisis-looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like, maybe you could handle some kind of pain-related difficulty setting, huh? Um... <laughs> no, you're wrong. I don't want to go to- I don't want to go to pain mode. You know, I'm glad you're congratulating me for beating the tutorial battle, but, um... No, I think I'm good. I, I, hopefully everyone's fine with that. We can go to normal mode. That sucks. Anyway, I would have helped, but like I said, I hurt my H string. I don't know what that means. I'm Terry Hints. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. Okay, so, yeah. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. <laughs> I don't believe that. I think tutorial guys normally don't have fans. Unless you're a really good tutorial mode. Wait. But yeah, probably would be rage quit mode, Night Striker. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled. Terry Hintz joined you! Yay! This, if this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life! Okay, thanks, balloon. Wow, so everyone has their, um... Everyone has, like, uh, d names and levels and, and, uh, freaking titles. My title is my... <laughs> go, go away, Terry. 
Get out of here, nerd. You don't belong here. Look at how much better I am than you. Also, my class is literally nobody. Terry's class is Hint Lord. Got like sweaty wristbands, itchy poncho, and a dead flower. Hint Lord sweatpads, cheetah jersey, and diary entry. This game has a really weird soundtrack. I don't know how I feel about it. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make firebombs with them. Or even just throw them in battle, so pick them up. Wait, okay, so did I just not pick these up? Yeah, okay, I can pick up all bottles. Neat. Thanks, Terry. I sure am glad hints. Alright, we got a save point bird on a gravestone. <laughs> Saving. Save my consulting the crow. Somebody's gotta remember ya. Thanks, Jerry, Terry, whatever your name is. Jumping when you're standing from a short enough ledge, you can hold the F button. Okay. There we go. So I was right, there is a small amount of platform in this game. I don't know how I feel about this sound effect, or sound like design. It's weirding me out. Is it weirding anyone else out? Like it actually makes me almost uncomfortable the way it just randomly uh, changes up the music. Wary of Terry's good looks, they are dangerously appealing. Always looking out for you, Tear Bear. You know what, Terry? I don't need any of your nonsense right now. You're not that good of a hint guy. Resting. If you find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived. Be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Fair enough, I guess. So, when it says anything can happen, I'm guessing you can get attacked by monsters? When you sleep, that would make sense. Oh no. Oh no. Secrets out, Brad. She's gone. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess, considering I'm a very strong warrior. <laughs> Terry Hintz joined you again! <laughs> Gosh darn it, Terry, I can't get rid of you if I want to. Even the main character's like, I gotta do this alone. And you're like, no, and my best friend's just, they're dead. He's freaking dead. Jeez. Everyone's dead. A picture of the sky that Buddy drew. Picture of Buddy's uncles, Rick, Sticky, and Cheeks. What names? You know, it's kind of funny. This game is called Lisa. I was expecting the kid to be called uh, Lisa, not Buddy. I'm guessing, though, the reason it's called Lisa is probably going to be revealed. Picture of a happy family. You found a rusty knife. Well, at least I got something from searching my dead friends. Yay. Bye, guys. I'm sorry you had to die. It's, uh, you know, it's not a <laughs> You know, this is a true story. Um, don't use this on your dinner, you'll get sick. Can cause poison, but apparently we can't use it.
But yeah, that is that, <laughs> that is quite the sick bird night striker. He really can't take a hit. Oh my gosh. This game has so many different portraits of everything. I love it. Like, the portrait of him on the same file is literally just the hint guy curled up in a ball. And Brad just, you know, looking like himself. Being all upset. Like, man, why do I have to deal with the hint lord? More like the lame lords. <laughs> that was terrible. Anyways. Actually, kinda, I, th I think I'll just... Darn it, bird. I think I'll just leave it on this... Um, wait, why does it matter what screen I leave it on? I'm going to... I know we haven't been streaming for that long, but uh, I need to grab some water and head to the washroom. Um... So, while I'm away, how is the stream treating everyone? Like, how does it look on YouTube? Does it look any better or any worse than it normally would on Twitch? Uh, should I maybe try and, like, mess around with my game capture options? Or, I, I assume it looks good, but... Honestly, so far, this seems to be fine. I like the, uh, chat- I like the chat setup more than I was expecting when I'm actually streaming. So, you know, feel free to leave thoughts and stuff. Regardless, I'm going to be right back. I'll be back after I grab water and whatnot.
Yeah, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, oops. Let me see if I can, uh, figure out how I set up... Because I was just thinking, like... Um... Okay, there we go. Whoa, what's going on? Okay, I'm gonna set a couple of people as moderators and see how this works. Okay. That should set people who are already moderators back as moderators, I think. Though I don't remember uh, who was moderators and I don't know how well it worked, but yeah, I'm back. And thanks. Ah, cool. Yeah, alpha mode's a pain. Okay, legitimately, YouTube, what are you doing? Um, could I just not do any of that? Okay. Yeah, sorry, I know. I'm being dumb with this whole system. I, I kind of blame YouTube. It's a little weird. Well, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to re-pop out chat uh, to see if it fixes this weird issue I'm having. Um, pop out. Check. There we go. Also, I have to make this chat smaller. Like, it, whenever you pop it out, it uh, comes in as massive. Alright, fair enough, I guess. I actually think, um, some mystery jerky. <laughs> okay, I guess, uh, don't jump off the cliffs. Maybe that should have been obvious. I was just like, okay, well, there's nothing blocking over here. What happens if I jump down? Instant game over. Okay, lesson learned. Also, wow, there's a lot of blood. <laughs> what an ending. Yeah, that's for sure. Ow. Okay. Also, lesson learned. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember if you were a moderator before or not, but... He is holding on to something. Diet Coca-Cola Cola. Well, we learned what happens to people who jump off that cliff, that's for sure. I don't know, were you not a moderator in Twitch? I was just making sure, I was just seeing how the whole setting people's moderator systems work. And, I mean, you do show up to a fair amount of my streams sometimes, so... I thought it was fine. Dried meat of common Olfthanian animals. It covers HP... This, if you throw this can at someone, it won't hurt. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's an item back there. Um... <laughs> Mystery Jerky. Yeah, same here, Oswald. Nikki is pretty great. She's, she's definitely, uh... Definitely preferred there. Alright. Combos. Some characters can use combos in battle via the different buttons. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering specific combos. In your skills menu, you can find out how to do special moves by looking at the button sequence. Example, WWS does buster punches. Alright. I'll try it. That's cool. Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. Oh, snap. We got a battle on our hands. It's... <laughs> Gives an enthusiastic chant. That sounds amusing. Uh, give it to Brad. Execute. 
Ow. Oh, that feels. Oh yeah, Buster punches. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> wow, Terry the hint guy is really freaking bad. Did you see that amazing zero damage he did? I I can't equip the knife I picked up. I'll try again just to make sure I didn't like mess up. But um yeah, as far as I can tell, neither of the characters I'm using has any way of equipping it. Is that all he does? Does he literally just run into people like an idiot? Oh, good job. Man, crying. The worst status effect of all time. Yeah, this game is uh, supposed to be kind of like Earth, an Earthbound Mother kind of inspired game. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, Armstrong style, and I guess just guard. I don't need you healing every turn. Nor do you have the MP to heal literally every turn. Well, actually, maybe you should give yourself a, uh, cheer. Yay! Wow! Even your heals aren't very good. 28, that's really the best you can do. So, Salmon swimming downstream tonight. Boom! Get wrecked. <laughs> Here's a hint. You suck, I rule. The Hinsters move it on up. Wow, your stats didn't even improve that much. Well, I guess you now have six attack instead of two. Yeah, that, um, sick drops. That certainly did suck in Earthbound. I, I remember that. There, there were a lot of bad status effects in Earthbound that were a real pain. Okay, right, equipment. So yeah, um... Hint Lord can't use uh, the knife, and I can't use the knife, so... Unfortunately, currently, no one can use the knife, because... Apparently, punching people for my character is way more effective than stabbing, and honestly, I feel... I feel like we definitely should have Terry get the knife, because he kind of sucks. He's dead. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. He is dead. What's back here? And yeah, sorry you've been sick recently, Oswald. That's never fun. I I definitely I definitely understand that's never fun. He is dead. There's a lot of dead people here, that's for sure. Oh. Don't collect anything in here? Alright. I forgot you mentioned that I wasn't supposed to collect things in certain places. He is dead. Hey. I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. Um. Oh, that's not a save point. How about no? How about I literally just don't do that? Is that okay, guy? I mean, it's probably not okay with you, but, you know, I don't really care. But yeah, anyways, apparently you can somehow get a bad ending by collecting a certain item in that room, so I'm just not going to. It's, it sounds interesting and intriguing, but, um, not something I'm into. Alright, men, I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search around in case she's already been through here. You got it, boss! Drifters, out! Alright. Whoa. 
Whoa. That's weird. My game was is like lagging. What the fuck? Why is the game of all things lagging? I mean, the game has been all right so far, but it's not exactly what I would call technically high powered. Is this a joke, bald man? You think you can handle what's going on out there? Hmm. I'll give you a taste. We're on a fight with Sugar Mountain, this stupid nerd. Good job, Terry. You still suck. And, um, let's have you throw on healing items. Not that Terry surviving really matters, but, um, with him surviving longer, maybe he can help Brad survive longer. Apparently, Terry is astounded by my stupidity. But I don't really care, he can be astounded by my stupidity all he wants, I'm still gonna wreck his face. Ah, burning. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Why don't you throw some more mystery jerky, uh, this time on Brad. Ow, I got socked in the face. Jeez. This boss, th these enemies are pretty tough so far. I wasn't really expecting that. Ah, uh, that was nice. Now just more mystery jerky on Brad. We can't let the main character die. I don't really know that it's okay. Who? I really think the main character dying would matter much, but I also. <laughs> I don't think- I- I wish I had a Molotov, but I don't think I have any. Damn it. Hopefully she's already dead, so I can see her in hell. Man. <laughs> Brad- Brad really doesn't have much to say, does he? He's- he's a very silent protagonist. The Hinster's moving on up. Learned verbal bash. So can I get the Hinster replaced with another party member, please? It's a quirk. Oh, the uh, way I was moving weirdly was a quirk of, of the lighting in the room. That's what you were saying. I was trying to figure out what you meant, but that makes sense, I guess. Anyways. Oh, wait. I just... I'm so dumb, I didn't even see that item there. <laughs> Domestic jerky. Yeah, my favorite kind of jerky. Anyways. Yeah, I just have empty bottles, sadly. No, um... No Molotovs yet. So I'm hearing some weird noises. Is that the game? Hi. <laughs> Hola, hola, if you can hear me. Really needed to get that off my chest. He's dead. What do you mean I shouldn't have picked that up? It was a healing item. They're dead. He's dead. I mean, I assume that there's this- I assume the item that might screw me over is a specific item that isn't just a random healing item, and okay, that's what it is. It's this guy's blood dripping. Also, there's a lot of dead people. I've noticed that. I- I- like, I expected dead people. I didn't expect this many dead people in this game. Either way, though, I like- I got a worn helmet. Okay, maybe I should pick that up. Whoops. You suffered serious damage. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills it all its pupils. Maybe I shouldn't have picked the helmet up. I don't really know. Howdy. Paths hath crossed yet again. 
Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do, fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped by your, of your wares by now, but... I would like you, Brad. I, oh, I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow-shirted friend's life or all of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give up? Um, I mean, honestly, Terry is pretty useless, but I don't want anybody to die, so I'm gonna give up my stuff. Hmm, how boring. Alright, boys, strip them quickly. I hear tales of the females on the loose. I love loin- my loins ache for some excitement. Off we go! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's actually- I mean, that's a pretty jerkish thing to say, but that's actually a pretty good line. My loins ache for excitement. Something really stupid about that. <laughs> All of your stuff has been taken. Oh no. Ah. My head. Whoa, you look like hell. Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, my first hamstring now this? You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Terry Hintz joined you again? What madness is this? Oh! That's why I wasn't supposed to pick up the items. Because then I would get my stuff stolen and not have them. I get it. That make that actually kind of makes sense. Also, wow, yeah, we kind of do look like hell right now. I'm almost half tempted to load because, ah. yeah, I hate to do this to you guys. Oh wow, I can also uh, change a lot of options now. Well, let's have some green windows. Yeah, I'm gonna reload my game because I picked up an object and you know what, I want that. Oh wait, why am I doing this before I reload? I also should have gone to title screen instead of quitting out entirely, but who cares about logic? But yeah, I'm gonna restart my game because I picked up a uh, helmet. I don't really care about the jerky, like that's not gonna screw me over. Uh, as a shame as it is that it's going to, um, oh shoot, I'm gonna have to resize the screen again. Sorry guys, give me a sec. I'm totally not ruining everything, okay. Game capture, oh wow, okay, this looks good. Continue. Why is this back to me on that one? It's weird. Yeah, it looks like, um, looks like this works. Okay, sorry about reassuring you this scene, guys, but, um, I want that helmet. I don't know what it, like, it's probably not important. It seems like it's an equip item, but come on. Oh no, I just realized this guy is riding a freaking deer. I was so- there's so much going on in this stream- uh, screen, I was distracted. I mean, there's this weird looking jerk and I- there's a lot of Mad Max stuff going on here. But he's riding a freaking deer. Why? Why? It's like Castle Crashers, I guess. I can have my belongings, I don't care about those. Okay, sorry about that, guys.
Yeah, it would be cool if uh, Mother 3 was on the Wii U. Hopefully. Dun, dun, dun. But I, I mean, I'm hoping they're gonna do that, considering they put, um... A worn helmet. Nice. I can't equip that? Can you equip that? I can't we really seem to equip anything relevant. Well, whatever. Unless it's a weapon? Oh, it's definitely armor. Well, whatever. But yeah, I mean, I assume they're eventually gonna put a uh, Mother 3 on the Wii U. Okay, so sorry about wasting your time a little bit, guys. I'm gonna go get some items now, and um, then... Yeah, I assume it's for another character, but it's weird how many items we're getting that are for another character. Oh, I see an item down there. Let's go get that. At least in this game, unlike a lot of games, I can tell why uh, getting items here would screw me over. I got some perfume. Because I very distinctly need them, and I, like, you know, I definitely need some items, and there isn't much I can do without anything. <laughs> But that's kind of weird game logic that, like, you, you know, you have to take items now before... Ow. Before you run into that guy. It's just... I don't know. I'm still not sure I'm the biggest fan of it, but at least, at least I know it, why it is. Also, graffiti. Yay, I guess. Not check any of these. I, get, I see there's books down there, but I don't know how I'd get there. That's right, tough guy. He fell right into my trap. Oh no, Jeffrey Coomings, not you. I don't care. Popped up blood. Good job, guy. Whatever. Here's a hint. You suck. I rule. And we got some sick drops. I almost feel bad for that guy. I mean... I know he was... He tried to kill us, but, like, he was kind of also dead. He was- he was an idiot, but he kind of just- we, I kind of just punched a dying guy in the face. I don't really feel okay with that. Oh, man. Well, I guess sometimes you just gotta do things. Okay, I think that's- yeah, that seems to be the end of, um, where I need to worry about picking up items. Why is an ally? This is, I don't know, this is kind of odd. Alright, but I think I see uh, where you're saying I have to drop down from. Yeah. This seems like it's... Ah, jeez, that hurts. You found a secret stash. 50 magazines. Whoa. That's like so many magazines. I don't even know. I hope I didn't screw up anything because I'm not... I, I'm oddly not seeing it like any items that seem to be key items or anything. I think I got everything here, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I don't know, are they not even board magazines? Hard to say with this game, really. Let's see, I think, yeah, magazines appear to be money in this game. That's all I was trying to think. I was like, where are my magazines? They're, they're down there at the left corner. 58 magazines. An interesting currency, I suppose. I would say just as good as any, but I don't know if that's really true, but hey, it's fine, probably. Oh, we got another- oh, what? That guy exploded, I didn't see that coming. Also exploded and did dealt the damage to me, and I ain't really like that. It's like a storm is brewing around here. You look tired, are you hungry? Have an empty bottle, you can have some me soup. Also, if you need rest, you can use me tent. Oh my gosh, yes, thank you. I could very much use both your tent and your soup. Let's see, do we still have all our items? Yes, we do. Wait, do we? I feel like I'm missing some of my bottles. Seems like a storm is brewing around here. Yeah, the blood effects are kinda neat. Welcome to the stream, Oswald. <laughs> a very, a stream of a very maybe depressing game, where I be incredibly tired. I'm actually not sure how long this stream is gonna last, to be perfectly honest, but... Like, this game seems interesting. Um... Wait, Oz uh, Oswald's been here. I'm dumb. I don't know why I thought you hadn't been here, Oswald. I'm crazy. See, it's how tired I'm being. Whoa. Chapter 1. Let's find her. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just being out of it. Whoa. Holy heck. I have one bottle. A bottle of soup. <laughs> Status effects. Okay, so we have scared, which stops you in your tracks. Where you, oh my gosh, there's so many status effects. I don't think I'm going to remember all of these. Honestly. The world can be saved. Find her. Walk two steps to the left, please. Whoa. Oh no! What the heck? Alright, thanks, Sleepy. I mean, I knew this guy is. <laughs> gonna do something bad, but whoa, a critical hit for seven damage, that's madness. Right, so Buster Punches. Man, Terry, you freaking suck. Wait, did I say Leapy? <laughs> ah, I'm being really tired, and this weird music is distracting, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, that was really weird. I don't know if that came through. Like, that I don't think it came through through the stream, but that song was really weird. It came through, like, only on my left ear. I'm using headphones. Uh, and, and that song specifically came through mostly on the left side. But thank you, Night Striker. <laughs> Uh, 
And yes, his name is D -D Diddle, and my intestines are in disarray. Well, we got some level ups going on, which is always relevant. And you got inform, cool. I mean, that was probably worth it. I find it interesting. So far, this game doesn't have any um, random encounters. It's just all like it's it's all ba uh, scripted battles so far. Well, that was a waste of 10 HP. See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over, which sucks. Cause the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I gonna make fire bombs? He is it dead. Let's see. Well, before I go exploring through there and killing people and stuff, I think I'm gonna go check what appears to be a house and some chickens up here. Whoa. Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Okay. Okay, chicken man who looks pretty much the same as me, but in a chicken outfit. Ow. I should stop doing that. As much fun as it is to watch my guy face plant, which is honestly kind of amusing. Uh, losing my health. Not a, not a good way to go about life. Whoa. Turn back. You know, I think that's probably a good idea. This place looks dangerous. How about I check that out later? Well, to be to be honest, I mean, this entire conflict is over um, a girl who's apparently one of the last girls on Earth. Oh, there is an empty bottle. Oh, I found a cigarette. I don't know where they're talking about. Well, we found. I guess there are random encounters in this game. You just gotta find them. Oh no! Terry, you're gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. Freaking overpowered snakes. Why? There is its fangs. Well, which makes it do less damage? What? That's weird. I guess now it's fighting with its fangs, which somehow means it's just doing poison damage instead of normal damage. So, is Terry. Yeah, he's knocked out. Entirely. I'm just gonna seppuku in this dumbest way possible. Game over! Oh no! Cause honestly, I don't want to waste my supplies on that snake. I don't- can you be more descriptive? Cop back where you were. There was a bottle... there? I, that's probably where you mean. I was ex I guess what I was trying to- I was hoping one of these passage waves would lead there, but maybe not. I guess I can just jump over there. I- the only thing is I'm gonna take a little bit of falling damage, but honestly it's worth it. Oh, is that where I'm supposed to go? Tommy, don't play with your matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to... Oh, shit. What do you want? Nothing. You don't seem hostile. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Oh, Tommy! Ah, now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? Get the bucket, sure. 
You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! Oops, that bucket! Get that bucket of water quick! <laughs> I didn't mean to do it! I'm sorry! Like, you told me the bucket of water. I assumed the bucket of water right freaking next to me. Well... You were too late. This is the most second most tragic thing to happen in my life. The second? <laughs> that is a good question. Why did that guy have a gasoline bucket? Alright. Well, now that I killed kids, let's not kill kids. As, as amusing as that kind of was. I mean, you know... I, I love destroying the lives of people and have making them have the second worst experience of their lives as much as the next guy. Uh, but let's see if I can not kill them. Nothing. It's orphanage. Could you hand me that bucket of water? Okay, so it's it's scripted. That's stupid. Got a bucket. All right, welcome back, Oswald. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of saving them either, which uh, kind of sucks. Yeah, they you stop hearing the sounds of them burning to death immediately. Ah, that kind of bothers me a little bit. It, it's funny, but... It's, it's frustrating because I'm the kind of person who likes to literally save everyone. And I guess in this game I'm just gonna... Yeah, seriously, they could just step on it to get rid of the fire, or, you know, I could just, um... Ow. Well, that was a bad life choice. There's nothing over there. Worth jumping towards. Alright, well... That entire area seems very pointless. And it's kind of that guy's fault because he won't let me get the bucket that actually has water in it until everyone burns death anyways, so... Whatever, it's fine. Clearly this event was of no fault of my own. He just, you know, just happens. Ow. You found the secret stash. I found ten magazines. That's not that exciting, I guess. The world can be saved. Find her. Smooth, ah, Jesse. Okay. That's a fair point, Copy. Probably doesn't actually have a bucket with water in it. They're probably all filled with gasoline, because that guy's a total moron. Sup? Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Ulf and what happened. Many tales. Would you like to hear them? Yeah, this is a bl completely blind playthrough for me. Right, so you have bump on many tale to tell. Let's see. Oh right, it's all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting... T I like how I can say no when he tells the story anyways. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife. Oh wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. 
You know, like a plastic bottle? Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put the ice in the glass. Oh my gosh, guy. I don't care about your wife. I thought you would tell me something interesting about the actual end of the world. That's time consuming is freaking... Yeah, save that story for later, thank you. So, I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course, when suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years, and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair! That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. How ironic! I decided it was time for bed. I had had a little bit too much excitement for one day, ho ho, with all of the irony of the chair and my wife feeding me fake j tea. I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hay hall, as I peered across the hall, oh, makes sense. the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Wow. That's a jerk thing to say when you're looking down the hall at your wife. Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Plateburger? Yeah, one of those women. With one of those women with really long names? Plateburger. Huh. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. <laughs> what a guy indeed. He really does. I didn't expect him to keep talking smack about his wife, but he sure is talking a lot of, of, of smack to her. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Aye, aye, aye. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. Tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. No, I I was like, you know, I was willing to give you another chance when I tried to talk to you. The fact that I'm running, walking away means you can take your stories and jump off a freaking cliff, you jerk. I don't have time for nonsense. I have... I have a daughter to save. Or probably not save, based off of how this game is terrible. Not, not terrible, you, you know, guys know what I mean. Based off the fact that this game seems to be a, a game about a world full of really horrible things, I, I don't have good feelings about saving her, but I'm gonna try anyways. I gotta say, this music's pretty epic, though, for this guy's crappy stories. Let's see. 
Once upon a hot summer filled night, sometime in July, was it July? The grocery store sells really good eggs in July, I don't know why. Do our chickens fireworks? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow, ho ho. I'll say you're mashed, all right. Your brain is mashed. Get wrecked. Guy. So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. Wow. <laughs> How judgmental. You know, I don't like freaking potato salad either, but that doesn't really mean you gotta be so mad. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone who would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. What a way to describe her. Do you, do you even care if, you know... Do you even care that much about her? I mean, not a lot of people want to go and bang women. They specifically state as slightly above average. And get this. They brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork knights. Needless to say that I gave I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. A real tongue lashing. Okay, let me guess. You're gonna not shut up. Maybe he is going to shut up. Can I steal your stuff? No? Shame. I really wanted to. Like, I legitimately was hoping I could steal some of your crap. Is he not gonna say anything else? Really? That's it? Okay, bye. I hope to. <laughs> Gosh darn it, you can't escape them. Uh... You know, I would love to just lock him in a room, Night Striker. I think that sounds like a good plan at this point. Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What are you following me? What? Are you following me or something? Ho! Oh. Anyway, I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is on. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds are so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff that I would actually care about. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I'd be really surprised if this guy joined my party, but who knows. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Eucilius Utensil. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that Shilo can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Eucelius on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman, but as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there's some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. 
and his assumedly big house and hard-bodied wife. <laughs> Wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. You know what? <laughs> I, at this point, I just don't even know. Just then a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. Mize trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, uh, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me because I looked really stupid. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after all these thrilling exchanges of me being really bad at life. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. Oh no, Nern Guan joined the party. Annoying guy, no, Nern or Raider. I don't even know what that is, but I hate you and I don't want you in my party. Gosh darn it. You know what's funny? I think I'm, um... Oh wow, I can do a kick to the drill groin, which causes stunning. Aw, oh, it sounds nuts. But, you know, that would actually be kind of entertaining, Night Striker, to see his really terrible stories, like, animated out. Well, so now we have uh, my new least favorite party member. And man, I thought Terry was a worthless party member. <laughs> I know, seriously. One wonders if I'm ever going to get a useful party member in this game. Whoa, why, why did I take damage? What happened? Bars. You can often find people for hire in bars. If you see a pink poster, you can access your party formation. Want to swap party members in and out? Bars are great places. Wait. Grab one item. Oops! Crap! No! No! Oh, dang it! That was really stupid of me. Well, congratulations, guys! The stream is freaking over! That is so stupid! Why is it so easy to fall off a cliff? I know I did a dumb thing, but I really wasn't trying to do that. Well, damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. That freaking sucks. I hate that you can game over that easily. I know running off the cliff like that was dumb of me. I was trying to go up. But... Now I'm done. Bye, everyone.